welcome to quick learning in this video we will be discussing how to handle maintenance plans when their end dates are coming in sap pm this helps in ensuring the accurate maintenance scheduling in this way you can plan your maintenance in a better way and you can equip your machines to perform more reliably and with more efficiency and effectiveness so in this method there are main three things that we need to consider uh, first of all SAP PM supports preventive and corrective maintenances. So if we are using SAP PM module, then it will help us in performing multiple types of maintenances, be it corrective or preventive or condition based. So these are uh, types of supports that are available in SAP PM module. Uh, the next one is uh, maintenance plans automate scheduling for regular activities. So when you create the maintenance plans of uh, any machine or equipment, then all the activities are automated and after this specific interval those activities and plans will be initiated and system will inform you or trigger you to complete the maintenance of that specific equipment and last the end dates define the validity of the plan and preventing unnecessary calls so whenever you create a plan then when you enter some end date then it ensures that you have to perform the maintenance on that machine or equipment uh, before that end date so it avoids some uh, random calls or uh, all of a sudden calls on that equipment so this is the purpose of entering the uh, end dates so next there are uh, multiple types of maintenance plans so we have single cycle plan we have strategy based plan uh, multiple counter plan and all of these can be scheduled with start and end dates. So in single cycle plan, we have to plan the maintenance in a single cycle. Like this has to be done in a single go. It should not be repeated again and again. In a strategy based plan, the, uh, this active maintenance will be activated based upon outcome of some other activity. Like if you perform some condition monitoring then if there are some conditions, if they are positive, that means that this maintenance has to be performed. And the next is multiple counter plan that these maintenances have to be performed again and again after a certain due time. So these are types of the multi different multi maintenance plans. So what are the key concepts? So maintenance plan is being created through these transactions, uh, IP01, IP02. Then we have maintenance items uh, in which we define that what are the activities and what we want to maintain in these maintenance plans then we define the task lists through IA05 and IA06 in this way our task lists are defined uh, then we have the scheduling parameters like cycle start date end date so all of these are defined in scheduling parameters then we have scheduling indicators like or are we going to perform these maintenances on time basis or performance basis so in this way these uh, scheduling indicators are uh, being defined so this is these are the basic concepts of the maintenance plans so in uh, how to set the end dates so we will be running ip01 or ip02 transaction we will go to that transaction then we will enter the plan detail or its strategy or cycle whatever that is available so uh, we will enter that thing in there then at the end we will do it we will set the start date or its validity uh, up till how much time that date is valid in this way it's and date will be automatically calculated or you can enter it manually but and this is being done in the scheduling parameters and then we have to save the plan we can enter the picture in this uh, demo as well so in this way that plan is to be saved after entering these required things like start date and date validity etc so in this way we can set the end date of any maintenance plan there are multiple uh, usage issues that are being observed like some short-term projects some seasonal maintenances like one HVACs in water system, some temporary based maintenance contracts that have to be uh, that are basically running over a specific period of time, and then some shutdowns or turn on, turn around plans that are being followed. So these are some of the issues that are being faced in a real world scenarios. And uh, in these scenarios, for example, we have to perform the maintenance and we have to create the maintenance plans for these conditions. So what are the impacts of the scheduling? So it can generate calls between start and end dates. And final call is to be issued before the end of uh, end date. So before end date occurs, the final call is to be issued to perform that specific maintenance. So no call will be created beyond the end date. 
and if we have to schedule the maintenance we will be using the IP30 module that will enable us to schedule the maintenance of that specific maintenance plan so in this way these are the impacts of scheduling on a certain maintenance plan so we have some monitoring tools like IP24 that is being used to overview the maintenance plans the, then we have IW38 transaction that is used to check the list of all the available work orders then we have IP15, IP15 that is being used to uh, check the maintenance plan histories then we can use IP02 to extend the end date for example if we are unable to perform the maintenance of any equipment within a due time then we can extend the end date through IP02 transaction so the transaction can be used for multiple monitoring purposes so there are some best practices that are being followed in different industries and uh, these include like uh, review plan validity during audits uh, you must align maintenance plans with the asset life cycle this is very important we have to review the asset life cycle and maintenance must be aligned with that asset life cycle use naming conventions to identify temporary plans your nomenclature will should be strong in a way that the temporary plans are identified in those maintenance plan lists and schedule regular and review of plan status this is the last uh, but not the least point that uh, always plan the review of your plan statuses at a regular interval so this will help us to update and refine and modify your maintenance plans accordingly there are some common pitfalls and their solutions like plan and stewardly in this way you have to review the validity dates monthly no notification in, is generated then you have to check the scheduling job in IP30 logs overlooked expired plans then you have to use the dashboard alerts or you can go to IP24 and you can check the expired plans for getting to expand plan so if you are an, you are forgetting that uh, your plan is not being extended timely so you can add just simple reminders in your task list and uh, your notes so in this way you can avoid these pitfalls and these are some of the common solutions you can so add further things in the list as well so in summary we can see that uh, end dated maintenance plans offer controlled scheduling and we must prevent excessive or unplanned maintenance orders and these maintenance plans must be reviewed periodically to avoid missed works so in, if we follow these three basic instructions reviewing our maintenance plans regularly and avoiding any unnecessary or unplanned maintenance work orders then our system will be very much aligned and streamlined and we can actually get the benefits of uh, the SAP PM module and last the end dated maintenance plans offer controlled scheduling so this is very important so in this way uh, first of all we have to monitor our maintenance plans we have to perform the maintenance activities as per maintenance li uh, activity list before the due date before the end date but if there is some condition some scenario that uh, you are unable to perform the maintenance within that due date then you must have to extend your end date through the transactions that I have explained uh, previously so this is all about extending the end dates and how to use maintenance plans and what is the significance of maintenance plan and how it can impact the reliability and efficiency of your equipment so any questions uh, you can just write in comments tab please like and uh, share this video and subscribe to our channel until next time take care bye bye